And now, from God's Unchanging Word Studios in New Orleans, we are pleased to bring you news, nuggets, and insights with today's host, Tom Carey. Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome to God's Unchanging Word and another edition for our news, nuggets, and insights. And today is Friday, January 21st, 2022, and we are moving into our year very quickly with a lot of information. I'm going to bring you up to date on what happened at the renewal with our booth in Florida on January the 8th. Then we're going to move right into the headlines. What are the headlines telling us? It's interesting that people around the world seem to understand that they got a lot of problems. The problem is they don't understand how they relate to the return of Jesus Christ. And thus you see a lot of bad information and a lot of false information from prophecy experts. And then we're going to go into the second part of Twelfth Night and this connection to Mardi Gras. And it is a lot of information. We're going to continue to share there information from all the way back to 2018. So let's first of all, let's get into the Truth Booth. <laughs> Quite interesting. Pull that up, Jeff. Let's take a look at and see what that is there. The Truth Booth, that's a little title that was given by uh, one of our members here in New Orleans, Mary Bear. And she made a lot of those little signs and she was calling it the Truth Booth. And God willing, we get a chance to go to more places this coming year, or maybe in the years ahead, and we'll call it the Traveling Truth Booth, <laughs> Bringing God's Truth. It had a nice ring to it, so we wanted to share that. So in case you didn't know, the renewal, that's the second part of a revival, so to speak, that the churches are pulling together to try to get everyone to go back to God and to renew the covenant, which covenant we brought out just a few weeks ago. People don't understand exactly what it is. So from all appearances, the trip that we had was very successful. But uh, I want to make a note on the, atten uh, the attendance there is that for some reason, the attendance, what they thought was going to be there wasn't. And there's probably a good reason for that. Someone bought up around 7,000 of their tickets. They were expecting 10,000 people and they had 7,000 tickets. So if people were looking to go to the event, pretty much tickets were sold out. And we've seen that happen in political campaigns where you have a, a certain party or a group of people who are trying to bring it to ruin, will buy up the tickets and try to get the attendance down to make it look bad. And we got a bad feeling that's what happened to them down in Florida because they were all excited that they were sold out and expecting nearly 10,000 people. Well, probably 2,500 to 3,000 people were actually there. could have been a little more, a little less. It's, Hard to tell because people came and went all during the day because it ran from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock. You need to pray about that for the next time. So we were able to send 11 volunteers from three different states to be able to go down and man the booth. And people were very excited to get the information and the representatives we had there. They spent the day talking to a lot of different people. We gave away over 3,000 items and over 1,000 of that was DVDs. A lot of information. They actually put them in bags and stuffed them, put stickers. We put cards in. And so we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But here's the scripture I want to bring out. I, this is from the Apostle Paul to the, to the Corinthians, says, I have planted, Apollos has watered, but God gives the increase. So what we've done is we've planted, and hopefully they'll follow through, and we'll do some watering. And at some point in time, whoever God hopefully has called some of those who were there, will come forth and accept Jesus Christ as we understand the truth that God's given to us and be caught a part of the faith in the church that God began with Jesus Christ. So that's what we're hoping for. But I'll share you one more piece of information that was very exciting. And it was when people signed up, we had about five pages of names, some with addresses, some with just emails, of people who said, yeah, they want to get more information. Of the five pages, we actually had 33 of those people were already on the program you're watching today, News Nuggets and Insights, which was really a surprise to us because, you see, we were going to an area that we basically felt we had no contact with. But these are people from those outside the church who are actually attending this event had already gotten information about News Nuggets and Insights, and 33 of them were already on the, on the uh, mailing list. So that's encouraging for us to show that this program is actually getting, getting out in reaching people who are not in the church. So here's our truth booth as it's set up. We put the banners behind it and they had of a, a, a patriotic theme to it. You'll see that it says the duty of all nations, talking about God. And that's what we're looking at when we were there. 
this is Don Trumbull. This is a minister out of Worldwide Church of God from many years ago. And he was also department head at Big Sandy. And he was, they called him the ambassador. He was, he was a real trooper down there, being able to share God's word. So if you entered the event, basically this is what you saw going in. And we were able to get a booth that we actually had two different locations where people went in and where they went out. So here we have uh, Chuck Baker's family. That's his children there that you're seeing. They were big helps for getting everything set up. And there's uh, uh, Clayton and, uh, and May uh, from New Orleans, teams here, who are actually at the volunteering to go down to Florida. And so they're setting up and getting ready for the people to come in. A little bit close up of the table as they came to the table. You'll see the sign up list on the right corner some of the brochures and some of the material that they were giving away. So all throughout the day, you had people walking around with that bag, which was a really good idea. Deborah, one of our team members, came up with the idea to have these bags. So we gave them the bags and put stickers on them. So all day long, they were walking around. You see the God's Unchanged Word, News Nuggets, and Insights walking all around that stadium all day long. So we gave away over th about 300, I believe it was, of those bags, uh, and we stuffed them with a lot of material. Here's another gentleman, Roland. Uh, Roland is from, actually from New Orleans, and he had the second booth area, and he's got the hat that looks like he's British, in case you're wondering over there. So he and his wife manned that table. And there's our team together as they were getting ready to begin. Uh, there's a, 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 a potential member <laughs> coming to the booth that Clayton's talking to.